Welcome to this episode of Emergency Intercom. Drew has been in the bathroom for 30 minutes, so I'm just starting without him because I'm annoyed and I want to get this over with. Like, it's a job. You Just because it's fun doesn't mean it's not a job. Like, that's actually what people don't realize is everybody thinks, oh, my life is so easy, but this is a job, guys. And I treat it as such. I treat it... Drew? Drew, come in. I haven't seen him for like two days. Really? Yeah, he's just been locked in his room. Why are you... Sounds weird. What the fuck? Oh my god. What happened? Drew, open your eyes. Did you get a facelift? What is wrong with you? What's all the bandages? You're oh 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 Drew, oh you're, you're Drew? knocking into stuff. What's wrong uh, with you, Drew? I got the Neuralink. Oh my god, is that you? Is, are you the one who got the fucking Neuralink? I'm patient zero and then Why did they let you out? I saw that. Did you see somebody got in Tesla, recovery? Tesla. Like, yeah. Why Tesla, did they let Elon you out? Musk. Wait, did they just put the Tesla chip in a person? I don't think that the Elon Neuralink. Musk by Tesla stock. Are you okay? I don't think you're healing right. I don't know why they would let you out if you. Hello? Why are you staring? You're like, <laughs> the Neuralink gave you, seem, you amazing eyes. seems kind of fucked up, right? A that, no, bit. that's what I'm saying. I don't think the Neuralink is working if you're oh like... God, I can see the old him behind his eyes, but I can tell that his body... He's locked in there. He might still be him. <laughs> What's wrong? You're like convulsing. Is it like fucking with like... Your legs are still twisted the way they usually are, so you're in there somewhere. Hello? Are you, are you okay? I'm can good. I'm good. Did you just restart? I have like a calculator in my brain. I'm doing <laughs> math. I'm like, I'm like, I'm doing the math of those flowers over there. Something that you wouldn't understand. What's the math of flowers? Sacred geometry, golden ratio, shit like that. Oh, okay. Uh, you, Fibonacci. You, I actually can drive my car with my brain now. That's really all there is to it. That's all it does? Why would somebody get it? Kai, why can't you look at him in the face? You're like looking know. away. It's, it's not him. Like, I don't, I don't know how to explain it. It's just not him anymore. <laughs> you can't <laughs> breathe in that or something? Like, it's like cutting off your circulation. Like, you actually. I'm like crying. <laughs> like, they Wait, fucking Drew, took my you... brain. They took my frontal lobe. <laughs> can you review it? Like, I'm. I yeah. Feel like everyone's um, probably interested. So, the surgery uh, was really weird. They had like a capuchin monkey next to me <laughs> that, like, they took it out of that m monkey's brain. Wait, so you got a used Neuralink? Well, yeah. They were like, oh, we can give you a used one because, like, we already, like, know it works and whatnot. Oh, okay. And so they put me down. I wasn't even asleep. I was wide awake and they like, <laughs> they legally couldn't put me under anesthesia or some shit. And they thought I couldn't feel anything because <laughs> I lied and I told them I was like paraplegic because that's the only way I was able to get it. Wheeled in there in a wheelchair, did all that whole shit, acted blind. How could they not test you for that? I feel like they um, probably would have known. Did they just take your word? I just have like a really high pain, to pain tolerance, I guess. Um, so Okay, that's not what yeah okay just i'm continue. just like really strong <laughs> okay, i'm like yeah. i'm like stronger than the average human and especially with this uh t tesla uh tesla fuck <laughs> it kind of just seems like it gave you like a minor elon fucking musk musk <laughs> fuck um you're like <laughs> <laughs> um yeah so they laid me down on that table put it in um oh, well, elon musk wait, wait, dude no wait, they wait, wait, elon musk <laughs> fucked it into me oh okay yeah. yeah it's like a colonoscopy you know that picture where it's like massage her brain with books or whatever yeah that's like, what elon did with his wiener yeah, to get the narrow link in there exactly okay um that's promising but yeah it's like so far it's been like tesla like really like actually good like i mean you seem I mean, you're not the fastest on your feet ever. Yeah, you seem kind of fucked up. But you don't seem faster. Well, what? I can drive my car without using my hands. I don't know if that's necessarily worth it because you kind of can't walk anymore. They won't let me use my fucking iPhone either. <laughs> oh, because they're starting their own phones? Well, I just can't look at bright lights. <laughs> blue light. Um, but yeah, so... That was my story. I, I'm the first person to get the Neuralink installed. My hands work. Ooh, for all the haters saying that, like, my hands and legs wouldn't work after, or, like, I would die. Like, I'm fine. I just have, like, a couple fucking ticks, and now I'm better than you. Period. Like, I don't I'm know better if you're than better everybody. than me, because I don't know if you would ever pass a DUI ever again. I have to keep the bandage on for four months, though. So. Four months? Yeah. You're going to, like, rot through it. 
Okay, I'm done talking about this because y'all are just like be- bullying me. Um, I'm not I, bullying you. I'm they, just like worried. They warned, me. Me. they warned me. They said there will be a lot of haters. That's oh, what the doctor said yeah. to you. <laughs> I got they're the mark of healing. the beast. I got the mark yeah, of the beast. Your I'm a god. Process. They were like, okay, make sure you wash around your in like in incisions. Is this what? I'm not allowed to shower for like three months. Oh, so, okay. So they were like, make sure you don't get wet, and also there will be a lot of haters. Mm, ops. They use the word ops. <laughs> the doctor said ops to mm, you. Oppenheimer. Yeah, I guess that's Dr. Lingo. Um, but yeah. Do you feel like it's changed your personality at all? Like, No. How, okay. Bitch, well, shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, okay. He's oh, still here. He's still okay. here. He's fuck still you here. too. Oh. Fuck you. Oh my God. He's, fuck you. Do you want to be saying that or are they like programming you to say that? Um, wait, should we do some tests on him? Should yeah. Like, yeah. Elon you... Musk has a giant penis. All right. Giant penis, Elon Musk. How do you, Drew, how do you feel about the libs? Uh, libtards. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it seems like it had it's some working. side effects. Maybe. Uh, we need to kill all liberals. Oh. Democrats. Democrats. Well, that's kind of blurring the lines of things Drew would just say normally, so it's kind of hard to yeah. do. Bro, it's just troll shit. Like, I'm on my troll <laughs> shit. Like, I just tweeted 14 tweets from my brain, like, directly to Twitter or oh. X. Like, I'm Can on my troll shit. Can you even do any of that shit with Neuralink? Like, what is it actually for? Is it for medical purposes or is it actually... Because I saw this thing that they were doing for addicts that they can go in and you could get a brain surgery or something gets inserted into your brain to try and stop you from being an addict. So they're trying to, like, solve addiction via surgery and there was this video that was like really emotional and i was like wow this would be insane this will save lives i would wa- i would like to watch this video so i watched the video um two of the people relapsed not soon after <laughs> one of them dropped out and didn't want to be uh have his data taken anymore because he was on the verge of relapsing and only one guy has been like well that's a 25 percent success rate in i my guess eyes. true but also like i think I guess maybe that's what addicts need is a camera on them 24-7 to mm-hmm. guilt and shame. Yeah, exactly. So we'll get that uh, for you with that app you have, like, your problem with, maybe. Uh, not anymore. I'm not allowed to use my phone. Oh, is that why you got it? So you could stop using Grindr for 12 hours a day? Yes, <laughs> That yes. was your spinal push. <laughs> yeah. I got the Neuralink <laughs> installed because I was addicted to Grindr. Um, well, I just want us to play the video of Drew dead asleep on the floor, drunk as fuck, one more time for podcast sake. I mean, we could drive him to the hospital. No, I'm not going to the hospital. We could just drive to the hospital. It wouldn't cost $4,000. The thing is, Mason last night was literally throwing up like four times in a row and we didn't take him to the hospital. So I'm like, why do we have to take Drew to the hospital? Look at him. The, he's way worse than Mason. This is like Project X. Yeah, I know. What if this is like... Um, because I was watching it again and it is insane that I was so drunken in a different state of mind that I looked at this dead person on the floor and I was like, we need to change this hospital. He's fine. Like, yeah, it actually freaks me out the way you look. <laughs> your behavior in that was crazy. It was the last time I felt any love from Inya. From that moment on, she just hasn't loved me the same. Something switched. Something switched. A I saw switch I, flipped inside him. I saw a side of you that was just so repulsive that night. But I, I was don't saying, believe you deserve love. I was saying the other day that I want to do that again. Like I, I really need to um, get to that state again. It's been since that day that I've ever gotten even close to being that drunk before, and I think it's time to like relive it. But like my luck, I would accidentally fucking die. Like I would accidentally like OD on alcohol. I'll get you fucked up. If you want, I'll get you hey, fucked up. Hey, party. Just say the word, bro. I'll smoke you out. Tesla. We could do Edward 40 hands, but just us. I have a 40 tattoo. What? Yeah, he does on his thigh. Yeah, I gave it to myself when I was 16. Are you serious? Mm-hmm. Yeah. How have I never noticed that during our sessions? I know, that's what I'm saying. It's because like, you guys keep the lights on because you're both so scared of yourselves. Yeah, so no, you should I find want, security in your body. I don't body. want Kai to see my body and Kai doesn't <laughs> want me to see his body. Oh, no. We both have the Apple headsets on. <laughs> yeah, for real. Dude, somebody is fully going to bone with that shit on it. It's going to be It's going to be fucking me. <laughs> 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 Wait, the Apple headset's gonna be fucking you, or you're gonna no, be? No, no, I'm gonna be doing it. They should have added a flashlight extension to it that you can plug USB C into it, and it will pulsate with the video. No, you're no, 
<laughs> that no. has already be a thing. Someone's working Dude, on it. Dude, it is. I talked to somebody recently who had an addiction to it. Oh, yeah. You were telling me about that. Yeah. Damn. It was like this guy that I know that was like, I hit rock bottom recently because I caught myself like fishing the dick sucker machine and VR headset out of a dumpster. Like, <laughs> like he threw it away the- and then yeah. went out for it? Because well, he was like the post nut depression hits so different when right after you lean back and you're in like a ready a player one headset yeah. and yeah. you like pull it off and you're like covered in cum and he was just like like i noticed i asked him basically i was around him and i asked him like why he had a nokia phone and he was like oh like i hit rock bottom recently he told me this whole story but he was basically like I got rid of, like, my computer, my iPhone, all this stuff, because I, like, entered, like, this very dystopian <laughs> period of my life. <laughs> Damn. And he was, like, there's porn that, like, syncs up. Like, the dick sucker machine syncs up with the video, and it uses AI. What's it called? What's it called? <laughs> What's the machine I called? I actually don't, I don't actually know what it's called. We actually have an affiliate link this episode for <laughs> yeah. that machine. Surprise! It's crazy. Men's Rock Bottom is switching from the Apple universe to Nokia universe, so you can have the perfect masturbation ploy. And women's rock bottom is, is writing Diva every Cup. day in your journal um, with the strange delusion that one day will be published after you die and you think you're making the next bell jar. I can fix like, them. that's the two rock bottoms, like, of the gender. I can fix them. I can fix them. No, bitch, you're just, you're probably more crazy than him. You're <laughs> fucking... <laughs> Dude. I think the, the Neuralink had some effect on his timing. <laughs> You're done. Oh, wow. Sorry, guys. This neuroly has to buffer so you can come back. <laughs> Dude, that was. That was insane. I can't feel my fucking legs. <laughs> Yeah, well, my fucking legs. But it's okay. Yeah, one of the side arms. effects of the Neuralink is when you get super embarrassed, your legs give out so that you can distract to something else. Girls Rock Bottom. Oh my God. <laughs> Girls Rock Bottom <laughs> is switching from Diva Cup to Tampax. <laughs> nice. Hell yeah. That was good. Oh my God. I haven't been hitting so long. <laughs> that is true. It's been a minute. Um, okay, so I was on tick. That hurt my hand so bad. Also, remember that era where people like actually thought <laughs> I was getting abused by my podcast? <laughs> oh, yeah, people back. were like, I don't know. It just feels weird. It happens so often. Yeah. <laughs> and then there were comments like, but he likes it. He, he says he likes it. <laughs> Guys, we don't know the full side of the story until he says something. <laughs> it's nuanced. It's nuanced. Yeah, there's like gray area. Yeah, like it's different. Um, mm-hmm. Okay, so I was on TikTok and I saw this slideshow. Yeah, of course you were. Oh my fucking god! I thought it would be. Um, and this girl posted saying, "A few days ago, an HBO intern accidentally sent oh, a yeah. mass blank email with a subject line: integration test email number one to thousands of subscribers. Not that big of a deal." HBO tweeted out saying we mistakenly sent out an empty test email to a portion of our HBO Max mailing list this evening. We apologize for the inconvenience. And as the jokes roll in, yes, it was an intern. No, really. And we're helping them through it. Heart. And then people started responding with like horror stories that they had when they were interns. And like they were just killing me today so i wanted to read a few to y'all because they're super funny um this person's response is dear intern when i was 25 i made a pdf assigning each employee to the muppet they reminded me of the most i meant to send it to my work friend but i accidentally sent it to the entire company my supervisor beaker (laughs) wanted to fire me but the owners bert and ernie intervened also what's fucked up is beaker is such a diss but all i can think about is when we were watching the muppets drew was like i'm beaker i'm beaker like i'll be beaker and we were all like yeah you can be beaker bro like nobody wants to be fucking beaker Insert a picture of Beaker. <laughs> like, I love Beaker. Beaker is so bonk. Beaker doesn't speak at all. That's so me coded. I go back well, to my room for 30 minutes at a ne- time. Neuralink. Yeah, I'll let you read the next one. Dear intern, I was using my desktop cat. Oh, why'd you give me this one? Oh, wow. Okay. Dear intern, I was using my desktop calendar to make a monthly note of when I started my menstrual period. Menstrual period. You didn't have to say period, period. Period. When I started my menstrual cycle, but after several months, I realized I was making that note on a calendar I shared with all of my colleagues company-wide. I was 37 years old. Mortifying. 
horrifying. This one is Dear Intern. Oh, I don't like this one. Um, this one's my favorite one. Hashtag Dear Intern. Me to the CEO of a large company. His name is Alan. I was 34. Then it's a screenshot of an email from the guy, and he says, Good morning, anal. <laughs> I'll let you read the last one. Dear intern, one time I sent out an email on behalf. Why are you flipping the camera off? I sent out an email on behalf of the organization's board of directors with a link to a custom thank you video that was meant to show appreciation. The link redirected to a lady in her pajamas loudly reviewing hot Cheetos recipe fails. I cried twice that day. And that's all of them. Oh, this one's crazy. Um, I was an intern at a podcast and uh, about a year into the podcast i realized that i had broken into their house a year prior and shaved my pubes in their house and now it's weird because i work at the same podcast that i don't okay you already stopped and what to... you don't have to you fucking hurt me kai <laughs> your fucking face hurt me now my hand hurts <laughs> <laughs> Look how red it is. That I last know. one was crazy. Um, oh, wow. 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 It's tingling. It's tingling. Okay, well, yeah, that was boring as fuck. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm fucking boring. Um, I'm so fucking boring. Well, I decided Drew had his beard. Like, why did we let Drew have that scary ass fucking beard for so long? Like, no oh, one. Oh, I know. Yeah. It, it, when I see videos of you with your scary beard, it actually is so fucking jarring. And it sometimes disrupts when I'm watching like an edit of something. <laughs> and it's like a cute edit of like us talking about being friends forever. And then I see a clip of that. And I'm like, oh, whoa. Yeah. There no, is so much content of you with that nasty beard. Yeah. It's just more of like a man thing like people with vaginas just wouldn't get it um and it's more of like like every winter i grow up my beard to stay warm yeah they would they, i feel like and yeah I, I feel like people with vaginas would get it personally <laughs> are you insinuating that women grow out their bushes to insulate their bodies ew kai why no. would you like, say why that you no say i'm that. saying that why were you just saying that you want to have sex with your boss i, I know wasn't saying so that. weird I oh, wasn't dear, dear that. intern, I got fired because I sexualized my boss. Oh, my life sucks and I'm going to prison. What? <laughs> <laughs> I was defending women. Drew said some misogynistic shit. Oh, and shit. I'm going to small claims court because she has a really decent case against me because the audio is something I actually helped record. Okay, that's the last time I ever defended And then my, women. my lawyer um, was like, uh, well, I can't help you and I quit because you recorded the evidence. So there's no way to like fight this it's it's is this true kai no it's not that's all it's a bit she's doing a bit fast forward two years from now <laughs> kai newman in prison <laughs> imprisoned um okay so we didn't talk about it or we might have briefly talked about it i don't want to talk about it <laughs> josiah being on what Jason, song was that it wasn't a song oh what the hell? We don't uh, talk anymore. Hey, that one's a song. We don't talk anymore. Um, no, Josiah being on Jason Nash was like a cultural cultural shift, which was amazing. We'll insert the clip of the battle, like the end of the battle. Is that your music? Yeah. Oh, good job, dude. Did you have a whole album you're making or just a single or what are you up to? Fuck you. What? Now I'm pissed off. Did I win? I lost? Oh, it's not important. Yeah, you I won, mean... You, won. you already won in life. You have a... You have a, um... Um, which is so fucking <laughs> funny, but I was scrolling on my feed today and I saw that Jason Nash got swatted and for all the evil he's done, I don't think it was deserved. Getting swatted is just fucking insane. That's like yeah, terrifying. It made me so sad. For um, him. I wish, uh, Josiah caught on to what I was trying to do. Cause if anybody watched it at the end when Josiah's throwing his like fit, that's a clip you hear, I want to answer. You hear like the gunshots, but I was this is actually such a dark dark joke. And like I'm sorry if it bothers anybody, but like 
Boo hoo, grow up. <laughs> Fucking liberal. <laughs> Sorry, his neural link Sorry. Is The neural link jumped out. <laughs> um, but. I was trying because he kept walking away from the camera. So I wanted to play the gunshot and like make Josiah fall to the ground. So it sounded like he killed himself because he lost against Jason Nash on a live stream. And then I wanted to like, dude, I had a whole bit planned in my head and I wish I had thought about it before and told him that this is what we could have done. But I genuinely thought Josiah was going to win that fucking battle. Also, mind you, I spent a hundred and twenty dollars on that battle. And I trying spent to make some Josie, fucking money too. Yeah, trying to make Josie win, which I then had to go live and tell him to give me all my fucking money back so i could get my money back because he lost also i was gonna do that anyway because i'm not just gonna hand josiah 150 dollars but i was like give me my fucking money back i really thought josiah was gonna win which actually freaks me out because that means that off that live alone jason nash walked away with like over 200 dollars, which freaks me out but I wanted to make it seem like Josiah killed himself and I was going to play ambulance sounds. And Drew does this really fucked up but funny impersonation of like every time he's driving (laughs) us around and like somebody like we're at a stop sign and he'll go through it. He's like, "Ah, ah," and like act Ah, like they hit us. And it's going to be a fucking... And you... And yeah, it's gonna be okay. And you yeah, go like, to the light. Your family's waiting on you. It's gonna be he's okay. He's always like, the, the ambulance is gonna get here soon. Because it's the same joke you did when we were at Orion's gallery and I was in the bathroom for too long and Drew went up to the door and he was like, get out. There's a fire. There's a fire. We're all leaving. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> is this gonna happen all the time now? Because I don't want to fucking hang he's out with it'll you. Get better. My ear is actually like really clogged right now. Well, no, your ear is not clogged. You just tied that bandage around your head so fucking much <laughs> that you're actually going to start like losing circulation. No, but it's cunty. Like, am I giving like I'm giving like a uh, Kanye's wife a little bit? No, you're giving like you just came back from a botched <laughs> surgery in Turkey. No, it's giving like cunty. Like mm. it's giving. Yeah. Mm. It's giving like a hands made tail. I've never seen that. Neither have I. Okay. Handsmaid tail. <laughs> I think it's handmaiden tail or is it handsmaid? I think it's the handmaid tail. Actually, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Dude, we're all living in different <laughs> universes right now and we're clashing <laughs> at the same moment. Right. I right. do believe uh, that we shifted dimensions at one point. You think that every three days though. Yeah, no, I genuinely do. And I think y'all are like different versions of yourself because I've noticed little things that are different. Are they like bad things or like No, what? it's just little minute details. I pay attention to the little things. Well, I decided that if like a um, woman hates me, I really don't care. Like it doesn't bother me. But something about like a man hating me to the extent of talking shit about me, like that seems so odd to me. I don't have it's any stupid. examples. But something about that, like if a girl behind my back is talking shit about me, I'm like, go the fuck ahead. I actually give you the green light. Like you deserve to. You deserve to talk shit about me. Like for whatever reason it is, like even if it's over something stupid, I don't care. But if a man got behind closed doors and was like calling me a bitch and stuff, um, I hope you die. No, that's just like pussy behavior. Yeah, like, like be a man. Is, like... Be a man and say it to my face because I'm going to call the police actually. Oh. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, but. (laughs) Are we going to cut that? Why? (laughs) It wasn't me. It was the Neuralink. I really wonder if that shit's going to work. If it works, we're done. I'm here. Dude, when I saw that tweet, it was like one of those moments where I was like, oh, I'll think about this forever like this will be like the first sign yeah of the end in a lot of ways like you know the whole thing with crispr yeah it's like crispr is like genetically engineering fetuses and stuff they're like they're they basically made the technology to do gattaca and i'm like at some point those kids that were genetically engineered that are supposedly like they don't exist right now because it's like illegal they're gonna just show up you know, like there was probably already genetically engineered. Also, what the fuck does that do to a child who's been born in a lab? Like they genuinely don't have parents or family. Well, I think it's like it's born. It's born inside of a surrogate mother. Yeah. But, oh, okay. but you can like choose like the eye color or the hair color or the hair yeah. texture and you can just mod it to you do like, whatever you want. You change their height and Parents stuff? and stuff mm-hmm. who even give a fuck about that. Like what are you going to do? Sell the baby on Timu? Like why are you trying <laughs> to like breed the perfect baby? It's yeah. so weird. It, I mean, I don't know if anybody's like 
doing it yet but, but like the fact that that's people are like fuck i would love i you know there's some people out there who are like oh my god i hope that happens before well, i'm like 40 th- okay this slander is like actually driving me insane because how do you think i got to be the perfect specimen that i am like i look like jacob alordi i sound like beyonce when i sing i have really big muscles i have like a very perfect penis like there's a lot of things about me that like a lot of people like my parents I paid good money saying you look like more like nicocado avocado kind of a <laughs> that's what i do you saw that that was like the top comment yeah. of the last episode or like what's that guy who I gets think, think like followed by drones oh, with the I face don't know. Fucking say Daniel Larson. Yeah, oh. I, I see a lot of Daniel Larson comparisons. Drew, no. Oh God, he's gonna get violent again. If you're gonna hit anyone, it, it should be me again. No, he wants it. Don't do it. Yeah, give don't it give it to him, him when he wants it. I don't want to get hit. No, I'm but just I, saying. like when y'all talk shit about my parents like that because they made me the perfect person. Like it. it hurts were they drunk me. when they were like choosing their options? So they thought they were picking like perfect they used skin. Coupons. Blue eyes, like gorgeous hair. Oh, they used coupons. Yeah, they got like a really good deal on it. They got bo- a bonus coin, so they, they could only get certain like avatar three Botox for life. They turned the bubble butt setting all the way up. Hey, yeah, they did. The clapper. It's crazy that when you do that, you're literally just like bouncing on your toes every time. Like you. <laughs> I just Dude, went fucking what in. What freaks me out is that eventually you were going to be 80 and have like nieces and nephews who film the fuck out of you because you are going to be so psychotic. <laughs> like there's going to be 8,000 videos on like some random child's mind iPhone of Drew being so scary. Yeah. Like, it's gonna be a problem. That's how we're gonna keep up. Like I'm gonna be the grandpa. That, what were you gonna say? There's the mind iPhone. <laughs> it's the mind phone. Um, I showed in you this video today of this grandpa seeing himself for the first oh, time. So sad. In a very long time, it's like the most heartbreaking, evil, dark video I've ever seen. In fact, I'll show you Kai real quick. Um, it's gonna freak Kai out because you're what t- uh, like two years away from no, this guy's age. I'm or something? not a grandfather. I'm not a grandpa. <laughs> we're literally matching right now. Look at the colors, they match. Is that me? Of course it's you. Get a gun and shoot me. <laughs> Nothing you don't bow. And she goes on to say, like, you're so beautiful, that's you're the so handsome. Video I've ever seen. I know, that's gonna be me. That's so sad. Drew, that actually made me so sad. I don't know. Do you need me to comfort you? <laughs> Bitches be like working where's the work <laughs> literally to them specifically they just be um, like i'm cooking in the studio yet they come out famished like where's the food do no that video was the saddest thing i've seen in a very long time and it broke my heart into a million pieces and i hate that we um do that to ourselves what that we care about what we look like or yeah that's why i got the Neuralink. it's nothing physical it's just all mental I guess you do need more mental help than you do physical help, at least at the very moment. Because after your buccal fat and your nose job, you look really good. Oh, and you need to get in a car crash. Okay. On the way to the gym. Oh, my God. We go to the gym together. Exactly. (laughs) Um, Okay, so I have a note written down. So for Christmas two years ago, or maybe it was my birthday two years ago, I was, like, sitting on the couch last night when I was, like, all alone. And I started, like, tearing up thinking about, like... Um, the gift my dad got me. It's literally gonna make me so sad, actually. But like, it like the gifts like <laughs> they, I don't know how to say it without sounding mean, but they're like something I would never actually use. Um, but he got me like two dildos um, as like a Christmas. I thought gift. you were gonna say something else. Also, um, like it seems like he son- knows his son really well because I feel like he would actually use two no, at the that's, same time that's because I, you're so used that if you just use one it'll slip out and then you spend the whole time trying okay, to like hey I've had anal sex like 380 fucking that's times not like true. Is big true whoop that you're used yeah he's hella yes. really true what I'm not the only one no did you oh you told him that huh that's always <laughs> your thing that's always your thing you I always guess, tell people that I guess you calling me whole number <laughs> 107 yeah, should have yeah. given it away. <laughs> no, 307. When I texted you and I noticed that was my name in your phone. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
<laughs> but no, my in, in all seriousness, my dad got me these two shirts and I was sitting, I was ordering like some stuff off Amazon and I looked up cool shirt designs on Amazon and the shirts he got me popped up and like they're the weirdest looking fucking <laughs> shirts ever. But like just thinking about him like literally like buying me something that he thinks I would like enjoy and like just like literally makes me so happy and sad at the same time i don't know how to describe what i'm feeling but it was really sweet and like i'm a fucking weirdo and he knew these shirts were weird and he got them for me anyways because he thought i'd like them and i love them and i still That's have so them sweet. can um, i see them um they're like in my closet okay. but i'll i'll just literally look up cool shirt <laughs> looking up cool shirt what the fuck is happening on my <laughs> phone right now this one <laughs> what what is going on? Did you hit play on something? No, like, was it TikTok? <laughs> it's my neural link glitching. <laughs> what? Wait, what is playing on your fucking phone? Is it from Spotify? Hello? Oh, what it's the... It's just in your Safari. Okay, actually, what the hell? Um, but yeah, it's it because was... you use your phone so fucking much that your phone just knows that it has to get the screen time up, so it'll just start playing things. Because if you see your screen time drop, you'll get really sad. And then when um you see your boobs and vagina sag when you get eight hundred years old, you're gonna be <laughs> sad. How about that? <laughs> when um, you get eight hundred years old. But um yeah, last night, girl, fuck this, like <laughs> literally fuck this. <laughs> Like actually, literally <laughs> fuck this. Like actually fuck this right now. Like I'm over it. <laughs> like I have all these notes to talk about, but like, damn, that's a lot of notes. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Dude, I am so tired right now, but that's because I had to wake up early and I was out all fucking night last night. I was having the time of my fucking life. Oh, I interacted with the most like insane pre presence of a waitress i've ever interacted with at the restaurant last night like she was such an overwhelming vibe she was a good vibe but sometimes when people are like a good vibe but too i don't know how to describe it we got there and it was just me and hey, at happy first. people like no dude she she was happy though but it felt like she was she had induced happiness like it felt <laughs> like she was on something happy uh, okay. she didn't feel like normally like just like oh sweet happy she felt like she was like looking at us and she was like so your first time here N okay <laughs> Oh, yeah. Uh, I love that. No, welcome back. And like she was just like staring through me and Jester's like <laughs> bodies. And I was like, oh, my God. And we ordered drinks. And she's like, let me see your ID. No, I got, I'm going to see that ID. The and then we at... gave it to her. And then she came back when Christian got there and Christian asked for a beer. So she was like, all of you look like 19. <laughs> and we were like. It's giving the girl at the hotel like typing on the keyboard. Like <laughs> That's what I mean. she was. That's that was the fastest waitress I've ever met. Also, we got there at like eight thirty. She was like, "Just to let you know, the kitchen closes at nine forty-five." And we were like, "Damn, that's like an hour and fifteen minutes away." Also, we just got here, and she was like, "I just want to let you know, so you can order everything you want, everything you want, baby." And then she like said, "Baby" to one of us, and we were like, "What is mm. happening?" And I had never been to that restaurant, but based off the way she was acting, when she was like, "Have you been here?" I was like, "Yes," because I was so scared of what the answer to no would have been. Like, <laughs> I don't know. Like, it freaked me out. Um, but she was a vibe nonetheless. We loved her, but she we love was good vibes. very scary to me. Like I kind of felt I Loki felt like she would kidnap me if she liked me a little too much. Mm, is that toxic positivity? Is that what that is? Oh. That's what it felt like. It was, right? It felt like evil positivity. Is that what is that what toxic positivity is? Is like, that a general? real term? I've never yeah, heard that's that. Like, it's like positive. Yeah, positivity is now like can be toxic that's mm -hmm. what i've heard like you're being too nice is that like condescending though like is that not just the same idea of condescending I think, honestly it's like if you're you're just like you're unwilling to be rational and you're only like i'm only viewing things as positive i'm not i'm like completely i guess i could see how that negativity of life uh, yeah i was gonna say i guess i can see how that like would be like a privileged like thing to be like it's not that fucking bad like just be too happy up. yeah um, never had that problem i've never <laughs> never been yeah, too never. happy you must be the happy king <laughs> <laughs> you must be the happy expert i've actually never been to the happy mm. store i wouldn't know what it looks like mm. and i wouldn't know what they sell but it seems like you shop at the happy shop a lot the happy, Me, 99 happy 99 store <laughs> um well i was at the gym yesterday 
and I was changing and I take my time when I change because I don't give a fuck about my body. Whoever wants to see it can see it. But like one of 50 people that if they saw my body, I would be mortified, saw my body yesterday at the gym and I was butt ass naked and I didn't see, and I'm not naming their name because I don't want to say their name publicly, but it is someone that I like am a very big fan of, like, like really, really big fan, have been for a decade. They saw me naked. We made eye contact. He was fully clothed, and um, it was horrifying. Something so humiliating about making eye, talk, eye contact with somebody while they're fully clothed and you're naked. Yeah, no, it was the most vulnerable I've ever felt. I felt Especially like a little baby James deer. Charles. Like, I, w- I can't imagine I know, what yeah. she was going through. To be a fan of James Charles for a decade takes a lot of dedication, too. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you both. Um, um, no, but it, it was it was. Horrible, and I like have never gotten dressed faster in my life. And I ran <laughs> out of there, and I sat on the bench outside of the locker rooms, waiting for Anya to come out. And he walked out, and we made eye contact again. And I just did you I, guys kiss? We did not. No, it, it was like not fun. It was not a. Vibe. <laughs> it wasn't a vibe at all. Well, I decided I need to stop smiling at people at the gym when I make <laughs> eye contact with them because I kind of think people might think I'm a pervert. A little um, bit, yeah. Because do the I, smile you do well, to fully, fully nude women in well, the locker okay, room. Okay, usually I'm fully nude too, but I'm just like. Like, cause I, I don't know, we're, do. we're both like naked as fuck. And like, I feel like everybody has this fear in their fucking eyes, which I'm like, grow up, bitch. Literally We've all been here challenge. 18 million times. Like, it's nothing new to see some fucking cooch and boobs. Like, mm. it's not that crazy. Um, I mean, literally show yours to me right now. Like, literally, it's not crazy. Like, if I saw you naked, literally, like, just show me naked. And Kai's covering his eyes. It's okay. No. Well, because you li- you find women sexually attractive, so it would make me feel very uncomfortable. And you peed in front of me today. Yeah, I literally did right before we started. It was a vibe. Yeah. It was a whole ass vibe. It did sounded you like smell she was, my asparagus? You were frying some fucking pork chops in that <laughs> the toilet, bro. Like, it sounded like... Horse meat. Did you smell my bean sprouts and asparagus piss? Yes. <laughs> Did you have asparagus? No. Oh, I was like, where's that smell coming from? <laughs> no, that's just my natural body odor. <laughs> you need to get that looked at. Um, but yeah, I realized yesterday because I did it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> this was the energy of the waitress. I'm not kidding. <laughs> but like, <laughs> but like more smiley. <laughs> so imagine that, but like. And then when all of our guests got to the table for Jester's birthday, she goes, none of your friends are ugly. What's up with that? And Aww, like, it was a sweet. really nice compliment. But we were like, dude, she also it was so confusing because she OK. Also, I don't want this to seem like I'm making fun of this woman. She was very nice. But I find interactions like that so confusing because I kept saying thank you to things you shouldn't say thank you to because everything she said, she had the tone as if it was a compliment, but it wasn't. Like, she would just be like, want anything to drink? Oh my God, you guys, I know you love it here. You guys always come here. And I just kept with, thank you, thank, thank you. you. And I like, but the, you shouldn't say thank you to that. It was really confusing me. But yeah, at the gym leaving yesterday, before I left and I was butt naked nasty, I walked past this girl who's also butt naked nasty. And I did my usual, just like we made eye contact and held eye contact. So I was like, like, I I'd also, I don't shake my head like that. I'm just like, like, I just do a closed mouth smile. Shake your smile. head again. Uh, I, okay, I don't shake my head when I look at them, but we caught eye contact. Also, I'm not like smirking and like looking them up and down. I literally keep my eyes locked onto their eyes because we've locked eyes for some reason. I just smile and keep walking. This girl gave me a look like she thought I was going to throw her into the showers oh my God. and like pee on her or something. Like, her <laughs> look was pure fear and terror. And then I walked out to Drew. I was like, Oh my god, I think I'm realizing I shouldn't be just smiling at people at the gym in the locker room because they genuinely think I'm going to like kidnap them and like throw them into the river. Yeah. Um, Give me your hand real quick. No, no, no. I'm going to do an aura reading real quick. It's giving gray. My aura, there's no way it's gray. No, you have like a green aura. What's it's green? like a green aura. Do you want me to do your Um, So I have this like really crazy thing for you to think about, Drew. Uh, there's a green light shining on my hand when you do that. No. Kai, yours is blue, bluish. It's either blue or purple. And of course, I have the white 
No, you're just talking about your skin color. You're supposed to like figure out the aura around it. <laughs> um, also, you saying I have green when that light is just shining off no, my fucking no, no. hand. It's, it's really is green. You gotta bring it closer. <clears throat> it's a symbol of growth, renewal, and balance. Is white? Is green. Wait, what's white? What's white? White, it just says gay. Oh. Oh, you are really good at that. That's crazy that you picked up on yeah, that. Yeah, I'm happy. I'm fucking happy. No, not that I'm way. I'm fucking happy. We don't mean it that way. I loved that comeback as a kid. Well, gay is happy. So yeah, I guess I'm gay. I mean, I'm the gayest uh, person the in the room. Classic loophole. <laughs> yeah, I'm fucking happy. Yeah, I'm super gay. I'm like the gayest person ever. Like I should win the gay award because I'm so fucking happy and you're sad. I'm toxically positive. <laughs> and what does blue mean? Probably like... Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I want to ride a horse. They have a horse to ride a cowboy. Because mm. I could read. <laughs> what? Mm. Uh, blue auras are sensitive, deep thinkers who are in tune with their true self and voice. Oh, wow. That is true. Uh, sort of. Yeah. What is white, though, for real? Uh, let me see. It's probably like creative, passionate, independent, loves himself. Uh, well balanced personality, calm, and open to possibilities. Oh, you are open, but w does it specify what's open? It says verse, too. Mm -hmm. I'm a fucking top, if anything. <laughs> oh, we need right to now. talk about that, the twink allegations. Yeah, I have it <laughs> saved in my fucking notes. Um, so, I dot love the Druth420. Shout out for the username. Um, posted a video saying Drew Phillips twink era. Fuck you. Yeah, what do you mean by that? Um, I mean, I guess it was my twink era, but fuck you to the comments that were saying, what era? He's still in his <laughs> twink era. Bitch, I am not a fucking twink. I'm not a fucking twink, okay? I'm an otter. I'm a fucking otter. Okay, I'll show you. <laughs> Those pictures are so fucking funny. Um, I was in a twink era. I had a twink arc, but fuck you. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you. Um, to be fair, like every like straight guy on the internet also looked like that at that time because that's mm -hmm. also why I was like, I love him. He's like my babe. That's my crush because every like guy feminine. looks like that. Like no, I, I have my own swag. I will say. I have my own swag. I think a lot of people I liked in high school ended up being gay, though. So. Not you, not you. I just had a lot of people, mm -hmm, not you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, well, speaking of gay, did either of y'all play Webkins? Dude, oh my God. Webkins? Uh, yeah. But... <laughs> <laughs> did you play Webkins? <laughs> when someone's being home, you're like, bruh, not again. Bro. I did, but not as much as I played like Toontown. Oh, uh, nice. Did you play Webkins? Uh, no, because I was always under the assumption that you had to connect a credit card to it, and my parents have never, oh, never had a credit card. Oh, they're the oh, not having you must credit, be card the credit card expert. Credit card expert. Um, okay, well, there's this guy in Webkins, and his he's a store owner, and his name is Artifact, and you would go in and buy a cool little like jewels and trinkets and just little things from his like artifact store um, why are you saying it like that because his name is artifact oh okay um and what the fuck did i say oh i'm reading <laughs> two different ones um but he would say like welcome to the curio shop like he yeah. has like a thick accent why is he hot oh he is sexy. he's literally he hot, is really hot. Dude. yeah he's hot as fuck that is exactly what the guys that you show me look like <laughs> like, like he is hot as fuck you know what's this crazy is is I, I can agree when you think someone's hot i can agree they're hot but i would absolutely never be down for it does that make sense mm -hmm. like i can understand and be like yes that's a hot person but never my vibe but i guess we've already talked about this my vibe is so peculiar mm -hmm. your vibe has no vibe yeah i just have zero vibes mm -hmm. it's all it's it's all about personality because i just believe and ugly people getting a chance yes with yes someone's amen. as sexy as me that's sweet amen um but on like web, web, webkins <laughs> on webkins one time uh me and my sister had a shared account and we would ask for like 
Webkins for every single birthday, every single holiday, every single Christmas. So that's all we wanted for like three years. And like we had like a. Sorry, I think your stitches are infected because I can smell them. I just want. You're well, to... a rotten bag too. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, I was on Webkins. It was like mine and Madeline's like passion as a child or as children we like put so much time and effort into like building our houses playing the games to get our coins up like taking care of our little animal animals and it was just like a fun thing to do well one time madeline's dumbass was at a nail salon and there was like a girl our age there and madeline oh, just got I, to I start <laughs> she just started getting to talking to this girl and like they were hanging out and they were like oh yeah we we love webkins too me and my brother love webkins too like um can i see your account like man was like i don't have like a laptop or anything to show you but like i can give you my password and log into our account <laughs> i mean like hundreds of dollars like like webkins were like 20 dollars each and like we probably had 30 or 40. It's like the 40. equivalent of giving away my Fortnite account. Exactly, exactly. We had like 30 or 40 of them. So like Madeline just giving this password to this little girl, not that big of a deal. Like this little girl did not have malicious intentions or so we thought. She went home, <laughs> logged into our account and then sent herself our most valuable like item that we owned. She had sent that to her own account and we were like, where the fuck did that go? This dumbass little girl, she gave us her login and password as well so we could go and look at her account. We stole everything from her account and changed the password. And so she never was able to get back Honestly, in. Honestly, but don't fucking karma. play. Like, do not play with me. Like, yeah. don't it's try fucked us. It's up because that little girl grew up to be Anna Delvey. So she never learned yeah, her lesson. Exactly. Anna exactly. Delvey is the girl who's a scammer, right? Yeah. She yeah. did not scam. She and was the girl. Ex, but that's, I don't think you, I've never talked about that. So. You dated Anna Delvey? Uh, but actually, that makes sense. Y'all's New York timelines add up. Yeah. Because, yeah, we did. It was, I guess, and she does dated have is a, a weird thing term for, for it, yeah. men with no job, no house, no car, no vibe. So that okay. timeline does. Well, I do have a house and I have a job um, and I have Riz and I pulled Anna Delvey. That's and true. We that's had an incredible true. three weeks. We had a magical, the chemistry and she's was the baddie. unbelievable, on top. She I love told me that I have uh, that macaroni in a pot. What the fuck? She was fucking your butt. <laughs> like, I want to find the thing that's like, and that little girl grew up to be Ariana Grande. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like no. those memes. Oh, where like, it was, that like little so girl. and so was standing and asking for yeah. like a dollar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Classic. Um, Classic. While well, you find that, um, uh, so this girl took our account and then you mentioned Fortnite. So there's a transition to Fortnite. <laughs> One day, Ariana Grande walked out of a store with a box of cookies. Outside the store, she saw a kid selling newspapers. She gave him her box of cookies and said, eat these cookies, child. One day, you will grow up to be someone very important. That child grew up to be Barack Obama. <gasps> Is that real? Yeah, dude. That's Let me fucking see the picture. real. Look. Look at them. Is that actually real? Dude, swear to God. It's from Facebook.com slash Legendary Facts. All right. Well, I'm tired of heart talking to this to fucking heart, loser. Heart to heart. Heart to heart. Um, Inya and I had a heart to heart on the couch yesterday, and we were having a very beautiful conversation. Or a sad, tragically sad conversation, but it was a it was a beautiful vibe. It was nice. Um, Inya had Fortnite playing in the background, and she joined the lobby, and it was the loading lobby, and Inya was, like, sitting on the couch, like, sobbing her eyes out, like, bawling, just, like, talking about some things going on. And in the background, I hear every fucking Fortnite emote possible. Also, I'm pretty sure I emoted too. <laughs> yeah, like just you're... at a natural reaction. I'm sitting here sobbing and I was like hitting the like. It sounded fucking bass boosted. It was the most insane thing ever. And I was trying so hard not to laugh because like the whole just scene that we were in was just crazy because it was like you crying Fortnite blowing my other eardrum out and it was just fucking hilarious. I recorded that conversation. Oh really? Cause I, uh, cause I like was, I've been doing this thing cause I don't, I'm not good at like writing how I feel. So I, I, I actually, this is a problem and one day it's going to get me in trouble. Cause one day someone's going to find out I do this and get really mad at me. I record conversations all the time. Like I have a 40 minute conversation between you, me and Orion recorded on my phone. Mm. Um, 
and nobody in the room knew I was recording because I just wanted to be natural. But I Jared's wonder if you could hear it's scary. Just freaking out. You could hear the Fortnite. Really? Like it's like me. I'm like I don't know, and and it's like. Can I like, hear it? Like you can hear the Fortnite loading screen. <laughs> Yeah, you literally can hear hey, it in the background. Dude, this is crazy. You can't oh, to the <laughs> It's like yeah, he's like crazy. talking about like trauma and shit. And it's like aren't you the guy who tried <laughs> to It's crazy. It's cr um, crazy. But that's just me. Like I'm just that kind of person. Also, fuck you fucking bitches. I'm never sharing my victory yep. royales again. Yep. Nobody can be fucking happy for me. Everybody's mm. like, oh, a bot lobby. Oh, play ranked. Sometimes ranked is fucking easier than zero build, you funky fucking bitch. Fuck you, bitch. You can't yep. be fucking happy for anybody. And that's why your parents let you lock yourself in your room and isolate away because Eight. they don't want to fucking talk to you because you're fucking evil, you fucking yep. bitch. I'm sorry. That was actually so fucked up. I take that back. And I don't even want to wait for the next episode to come out. I just want to come forward and say that that was so wrong of me, guys. <laughs> and I really am so sorry. Um, um, but Drew's yeah, I'm never, I'm never sharing my joy again. Fuck you. And I'm going to kill myself. And it's your fault. Hmm. Period. And that's on what? And instead of going to my funeral, you'll be going to small claims court because Drew will be prosecuting mm -hmm. you. And he will be defending me and himself. Mm-hmm. From all the gay allegations. No, that one I'm I'm going on the stand against you. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> Drew Sayup Corner. Do y'all not play? Do you not play the thing? Like, why does why do you sing it? Because I just like singing it. It's like oh. a vibe. Yeah. Drew Sayup Corner. Drew Sayup. Okay, corner. you don't like go. <laughs> okay, if your pussy stinks, you got two buttholes. <laughs> Having an ugly friend isn't a problem until they start calling you twin. <laughs> That's how I feel with you. I don't want head if your spit stinks. <laughs> I feel like if your spit stinks and you're giving head, that's more of a problem for the person giving head. But that's just mine. Yep. And you drink 67 ounces of coffee in four minutes and says, man, I don't feel good. I have anxiety. Bitch, you're tweaking off the bean. <laughs> Gay son or thought daughter? Better question. Skibbity toilet son. Or Sephora daughter. Ayo! Oh. Yo! Oh my god. Dude, I really want to play back when Drew said his bunk ass joke. Like, I need to watch that back immediately. <laughs> immediately. <laughs> um, shout out Pedro, Isaac, and Iani. I Pedro think. Pascal? Yeah. Wow. He sent in one to my email. Hmm. Um,. I think we're living in Darny Darko. <laughs> Darny Darko. No, I, I think we are. But have you been seeing all the planes Bro, it's crashing? It's Darny Darko. <laughs> <laughs> have you been seeing all the burning planes in the sky? We are literally living Darny Darko. <laughs> yes. Two nights ago, I saw a fiery ball in the sky. Darny Darko. And it disappeared. Darny Darko. I'm not joking. What is the plot of Darny Darko? <laughs> like a plane lands in the house and then a robot yeah oh i've never seen it are you serious <laughs> i know like there's a bullying scene or some shit i've yeah, seen the movie the but it was, shot scene it was so weird and so that's why that a, movie is so scary i've never noticed that water tower i don't see one yeah you haven't noticed it either <laughs> um Fuck, what was I going to say? Oh, that was a shooting star. You were just so clouded by your own pessimism that you can't enjoy the things God gives to you. What that's the why you're fuck? Burn why are you hell. always that's dissing why you're me? Burn right, in hell. Yeah, she's right. No. It's, you know what makes me so say sad? something nice. Is when I'm yeah, in a room full nice, of actually. people I love and I care about, which is like y'all and all my friends. I'm like, wow, it is so sad that I'm the only one in here who is going to have a joyful afterlife because I'm going to heaven. And the rest of you are going to burn in hell for all the sins that you've committed. And it, I've tried countless times to save you because I love you all so much that I would love to spend my afterlife with you but you continue to be sinful and disgusting and honestly now we i hope know. you have a ravenous awful hellish death and we I, know I the sins that. you've committed should i bring them up what? should i what bring I all do? the what sins I up <laughs> what did i do and has got a few skeletons in her closet gay sex <laughs> so gay when you sex. no so when you cover your mouth and then you um you're supposed to like whisper, so. Oh no, I know, 
I want the people. It doesn't to know. even matter. We don't even have to fucking blur that because that shit never would never happen. Mm-mm. Never yeah. happened to me. Nope. Not to my knowledge. Nope. That's misinformation. The classic Jew, yeah. classic Jew, just well, saying. Well, I'm gonna go to heaven because I'm so sweet. So I'll be with you up there forever. That's um, true. That's, that's actually that's not true. how you get into heaven. That sounds like you might be diabetic. Uh, so, oh my fucking god! So you may. Hi, actually, you might be diabetic because when I was drinking your pee out of the toilet, it was really <laughs> sweet. It was like high fructose corn syrup. Yeah, it was really sweet. <laughs> That's why when you pee, it sounds so loud because it's just pure fucking it's gel very coming viscous. out. Yeah, yeah. Kai it has like a really good stream, <laughs> a really good pee stream. My urethra is very large. <laughs> it's <Ew>. gaping. <laughs> All right, two well, boys in a sandbox. Oh wait, we have to do media. I almost forgot. Oh, my, uh, guys, my phone's dead, so I'm gonna have to go off the top of my head. Oh, oh somebody made an edit to a Hall and Oates song. I don't remember what account it was, but boy, do you know how to please a woman like me? You should actually go to <laughs> gay school because I bet you're a girl who made that, and you might be gay because you're so oh, good shit. at pleasing <laughs> women. <laughs> the fuck are you saying, bro? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, I guess you shouldn't go to gay school. You should teach gay school because you're already so good at it. <laughs> <laughs> Mine is behind the bars, Elliot Smith. <laughs> and that's where you're going to go in hell. Wow. Right behind the bars. Um, <laughs> <laughs> mine is Bitch Wear by Chief Keef. Um, oh, yeah. Inya's a glow girl. Yeah. Inya's a modern day glow girl. I'm freaking girl. crazy. Uh, that's a song and then the rest is like the same shit i've been saying because i've just been listening to the same music and i actually need to get uh, actually oh uh what is it it's like ask about me or something by john lennon so because i'm going on my like the beatles journey everybody was like oh my god the beatles the beatles i thought you said you hated the beatles people aren't subject to change why are you so Mm. fucking evil you conniving fucking wench Uh, yeah Mm -hmm. Uh, Chrome Country, <laughs> 10 Tricks, Point Never, Sugar Storm, Trent Reznor, In oh Motion, Trent Reznor. Bitches be like, here's my from media, Eternal- just a bunch of noise, <laughs> classic. Theme from Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, John Byron. Joe Biden. John Byron. The worst thing I ever did was somebody I broke up with um, soon after I got them the soundtrack to Eternal Sunshine of a Spotless That's Mind. Off. Because it's their favorite movie. And I was like, this would be such a cute gift to give them. And I That's gave it to them so and I was insane. like, oh. And I felt so evil, but they were happy. That's, that's emotional terrorism. Behavior. Yeah, don't that's, fuck with me. That bitch. is toxic positivity. Uh, <laughs> Starfall Salem. That's my media. Um, oh, my media is Oblivious by Aztec Camera. And we could send letters. That one. That whole album is awesome. Yeah, guys. Oh my God, life is life have is so amazing new... when you are me, and I could see how if you were Drew, it'd be really hard. Fuck you. Mm. Have you heard the new um, JoJo Siwa track? There's no good. fucking way she has music. It's pretty good, actually. I'm done. I'm fucking done. I'm done. I'm not talking anymore. Fuck you guys. Um, like seriously. Kai, what's your media? Oh, I. Every oh, time wait, you wait, ask wait. him, he says porn. No, I. I've only said that joke once, and now I'm known for it because it was so funny. All right, my media. All right, my media this week is porn. Oh, oh my, my fucking God. God. Okay. No, my media is actually Homecoming by the Teenagers. Mm. Oh, I know that song. Have you guys heard that song? Mm-mm. Is it new or old? It's old as fuck. It's from oh, like okay. 2014. I'll listen. I'll listen. It's Dude, you know what's fuck. crazy is I've always been an absolute piece of shit fuck face. And I'm always like, I only want to hear old music. And now when I see a song is from 2008, I'm like, that's old enough. I can like tap into that, which is so fucking scary. Yeah, my cutoff's like 2016. Was that it? Was what it? The song. Oh, oh, oh I could do more. Uh, Ditto by New Jeans and then uh, Mario's oh. Cafe by St. Etienne. Oh. Okay. oh, have I showed you my St. Etienne shirt? No. I have a really good St. Etienne shirt. I don't think I've ever seen it. I haven't worn it because it's like humongous. It would fit me, but she won't let me wear it. No, it's it's like it's literally a dress. <laughs> humongous. Humongous. What were you saying the other day, Kai? You were like that moment like shifted everything. Oh yeah, the humongous. Mo- you remember that video of like the humongous guy? Mm-mm. Are you like kidding a- me, Anya? You don't remember that? What is that? It was like this guy that was like. I forget what it was. It he, was like a presidential debate. Joke. It was a, no, it was a presidential debate, and he's they asked him his name, and he was like humongous. Oh, oh, oh I do, I do. Oh I yeah. Do. 
I was telling Drew that that was the beginning of the culture war. Yeah, that shifted everything. <laughs> that was the first shot fired. Um, Red okay. versus blue. Look how dirty these Civil are. War I'm too. actually going to leave the house right now and go get new slippers because look at the bottom of this. Oh, gross. <laughs> Red versus blue, Civil War to come to with me to Texas to stop the people from coming in. What the fuck are you talking about? Sorry, that was the Nero link. Okay. All right. Thank you guys for watching. I hope something Tesla. bad happens. <laughs> Tesla. Fuck Elon Isn't Musk. Isn't it fucked up if I said that and something Elon bad happened Musk. to somebody, their brain Tesla. would naturally connect those two events Boring and literally company. hate me for the rest of their life? Model Y. Model right. Y. Bye.